The Great Horned Owl is a part of the Strigidae family that inhabits the North American woodland. Other parts of the world where the Great Horned Owl can be found are parts of South America and Central America. When walking through a forest around the hours of dusk to midnight, the sounds of an owl may be heard. The pitch between the male and female's voice varies. The female's call is a much higher pitch than the male owl. The male owl uses their voice in order to mark their territory. Ears point upwards while it rests in a tree. Large yellow eyes are used to hunt their prey. The beak of a great horned owl is curved in order to, for it to pick apart its prey. Colour is also important when recognising the owl. The orange and brown white feathers create a beautiful pattern on their body. The great horned owl is an excellent hunter who eats such animals as squirrels, mink, skunk and raccoons. Much of the hunting is while flying. At this time the bird's ears are pointed back in order to make the owl more aerodynamic. With a wingspan of 1.5 meters, a height of 55 centimeters, and a weight of 3 to 4 pounds, the great horned owl is the only owl capable of carrying 2 to 3 times its weight in flight. The wild owl, also known as the hoot owl, is one of the most common in eastern North America. While all other owls in the region have yellow eyes, the barred owl is unique with full dark brown eyes. Its bright yellow beak stands out on its face, contrasting the grey moustache feathers growing above. The pale grey face is bordered by two dark brown rings. Inside the rings, the barred owl's face is pushed in or concave. Unlike most North American birds, it does not have ear tufts. This gives them a cute, almost harmless appearance. But make no mistake, it is a vicious hunter with three needle-sharp talons on each foot, hiding beneath its feathers. Its feather pattern is where the barred owl gets its name. On its upper chest and neck, dark brown bar feathers move horizontally across the light grey ones. On the lower part of the owl, these bars move vertically and are notably larger. Its back is much darker than its belly with more barring and darker colours of brown. When threatened, it will spread one of its wings over its belly with the intent of looking like a branch in a tree. Barred owls prefer moist woodlands to nest. This habitat supports the owl's copious palate for rodents, amphibians, birds and insects. The tundras of Northern America are home to only the most hardy and courageous animals. With little shelter, intense weather and a low food supply, life is slow. Yet within the frozen grassland, the snowy owl thrives. Relying on the main food source, the lemming, it only leaves the tundra for migration. With little or no natural predators to worry about, snowy owls make their nest on the tundra floor in a good visibility area for hunting. 
One of the ways it hunts so efficiently is its ability to fly silently even with the wingspan three times its own height. Using stiffened feathers in conjunction with its ears, owls gather sounds in a chamber which is directed to the ears located behind the eyes. Apart from its keen senses for hunting, snowy owls are equipped with a sharp beak designed for ripping food and three centimeter long razor-like talons designed to tear meat and kill their prey. To look to the side or to follow a moving object, the bird must swivel its head. The eyes contain many more light gathering cells than do human eyes and can detect small objects moving at great distances. As in other owls, the visual fields of the two forward directed eyes overlap widely. This binocular vision gives owls excellent ability to judge distances, an important attribute when attacking prey. Unlike most owls, which are nocturnal or active only at night, the snowy owl is active during the day and at dawn and dusk. Because daylight is continuous within the Arctic Circle during much of the summer nesting season, this adaption is not surprising. Adult males may be almost pure white in colour, while females are darker, their white feathers barred with dark brown. First year birds of both sexes are more darkly marked than their adult counterparts. Immature males resemble adult females and immature females are heavily barred and may appear dark grey when seen from a distance. The light coloration of snow owls provides camouflage when the owls are perched on snow, but this advantage is lost in summer. As spring approaches and the ground becomes bare, snow owls move to sit on patches of snow or ice. No one knows whether they do this to camouflage themselves or whether they are merely keeping insects away or staying cool. A dense layer of down overlaid with thick feathering insulates the snow owl's entire body, including the legs and toes, and enables the bird to maintain a body temperature of 38 to 40 degrees Celsius, even when the air temperature reaches 50 degrees below. In strong wind, snowy owls may seek shelter by crouching on the ground behind a windbreak, such as a pile of stones, snowdrift, or bale of hay.